pretty alarmed that it's happening. The bank was wondering what you were doing out here, photographing and taking pictures and stuff. If we ask that you don't record or take pictures of the bank? I would, I would ask uh, what your concern is. Right. General rule of thumb is I don't have conversations with police. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it just, nothing good ever comes from having yeah. conversations with police, <laughs> in my opinion. Don't take this the wrong way. I think you're just making this shit up. Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. Today we're in Charleston, West Virginia. Just walking down the street, aiming our cameras at a few local businesses. Typically just the ones that have cameras aimed at us. And uh, seeing if they recognize and respect our right to take photos and videos in public publicly accessible places, such as this public sidewalk. The City National Bank over here. I have never heard of City National Bank. Let's swing by these guys and see if they lose their minds over a camera. Into it, uh, just uh, taking some pictures and videos of the of the bank, City National Bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't really get into specifics, unfortunately. So just take well, pictures and video. We're pretty alarmed that it's happening. So You're alarmed? What? <laughs> yeah. Why are you alarmed? Uh, well, because we're a bank. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It looks like a pretty big bank too, for that, uh, that matter. Um, yeah, I wouldn't would worry about it. I mean, you know. I'm not, uh, well, without understanding, we're, we're concerned about it. I, I cannot control your concern. I, so, yeah. you know, I, I... With a little explanation, it would help. Unfortunately, I cannot give an explanation. Um, okay. What I do, why I do it, and who I am, it's just not information that I, uh, that I choose to divulge. Okay. And so if we, if we ask that you don't record or take pictures of the bank... I would, I would ask uh, what your concern is. Yeah, um, that you're recording the, or taking pictures of our doors and windows and exterior and it makes us concerned about what can happen. So, it's, uh, it's, give me like a realistic worst case scenario. What is the concern? Are you afraid that uh, I'm, I'm photographing the doors and video or windows to, I don't know, come clean them later? I don't know. I mean, what's the concern <laughs> exactly? Uh, it's very odd. Um, it is to odd. See happen. It is. It's it's unusual yeah. to see somebody out taking photos of a bank. I mean, granted, public photography is not unusual per se. But right. Yeah, you know, stopping and taking pictures of uh, of a bank. So, yeah, I uh, I don't know what to tell you. I, I can't really get into specifics, unfortunately. So it's just uh, I I just do what I do and and uh, you know I have a job to do and I just go out and do it and, and uh, turn it in. So. Okay. Can't give any specifics, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Metro Communications. Hi, I'm calling because uh, I'm calling from City National Bank in Canal City. And we have someone very strange outside the building taking pictures and recording. Um, and when asked an approach to leave or what he's doing, he said he can't tell us. So we we need him to leave. Isn't a white van by chance? Um, I'm not sure. I know it sounds weird. I just had a call about a guy taking pictures of people in a white van. 
I don't know where he's parked. Okay, is he a white male or black male? White. I don't know where he's parked. What's he wearing? Um, a gray t shirt, um, a hat. I think he was wearing blue jeans. Yes, he's still uh, there now. Yeah. Where's he? Has to believe and he said no. Okay. Where's he at? He's in front of our building on McCorkle. And he's taking pictures of the bank. Yeah, he's got it like on a tripod and he's recording and it's got like a he's got like a earpiece and a camera around his neck. Well, now I don't know where he went. What's your phone number? And your name? Do you want to talk to law enforcement? No, that's okay. And you, that's the one at 3601 McCorkle, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, he's still there right now. No, I'm going to the other part of the building to look out. He was while I dialed your number still here. And didn't seem to have any plans of leaving because I asked him to leave and he politely said no. We have two officers coming out that way now. So. Okay. I'm having a hard time getting a look at that side of the building. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. On the two corners, I don't see him, but I don't know that he's not still on McCorkle. Okay. So he's not where you last saw him, though? No. He was in front of our doors facing McCorkle. Okay. He's moved down the building. And he was also recording our drive through and had a mic on his tripod, which is, you know, that concerns us because the customers through the drive through are telling us account numbers and information. We have a unit in the area looking for him now. You don't know who he was or anything? No. All right. Uh, since he's in the area, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. If he happens to show back up, just call back here and let us know. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Sir, how are you doing today? Oh, no complaints. And yourself? Oh, doing well. Just the bank was wondering what you were doing out here, photographing and taking pictures and stuff. They are a curious little bunch, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, aren't they, they? Are. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could tell the bank the same thing I told them. That is, I'm not going to tell you. It's none of your business. Um, I wouldn't say that to you quite. <laughs> and I, was a little, I was a little more polite to them. But, yes. Uh, yeah, it, it really, what it comes down to is it, it is none of their business. 
Um, I'm out in public taking photos and video. Uh, she came out and talked to me. I was very polite to her. Okay. I told her, uh, she asked, you know, why are you doing that? So I don't really get into it. No desire to. Um, and and as, as pleasant as you seem to be, general rule of thumb is I don't have conversations with police. Uh, it, it, it just, nothing good ever comes from having conversations with police, in my opinion. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But the reason I'm inquiring mm -hmm. and asking you is uh, when it comes to banks, huh. you understand how people can get suspicious yeah, and uh, yeah. you know, reasonable suspicion. So that's why I'm asking you. That's why I'm Yeah, sure, sure. No, I get it. I get uh, it. How long have you been a police officer in, in is this, it's Charleston, right? Yes. How yeah. long have you been a police officer? Uh, not too long. Three and a half, one on four. Do you like it? Well, now, like is, it true, is it true that it takes five years to become, uh, well, they consider you to be a greenie or whatever uh, for five years? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, there's always something new. I Five mean, years. Yeah. Jeez. I was a UPS driver for for ten years and two years. Two years you're a newbie. <laughs> Can't imagine. Uh, it, it goes by. My first yeah. two years went went by like that. Yeah, I just uh, you know let the gals know he's on a public sidewalk. I just noticed your hat. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's on a public sidewalk. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, you know they'll understand. And if they don't understand, well. I guess that's that's just their just their problem. Are you from Ohio? Um, I'd rather not say, honestly. I'd rather not say. Um, yeah. So like I said, I just I, I just generally don't like having conversations with police. You know, you wind up saying something Very wrong, and the next thing you know, they're accusing you of menacing or something yeah. nonsense like that. So yeah, I've I've had a few times where I'm just out taking pictures and videos, and you're like, you're menacing people. Really? Is that a, is that a crime? Yes, it is. Really? <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, I'll be the first journalist to be arrested for taking photos. Actually, that's not true. People, yeah, occasionally journalists do get arrested for taking photos. Really? So, oh yeah. Have you been arrested for taking photos? I've not been arrested yet. Sounds um, like a lawsuit. But I am a photojournalist. Yeah, I know. I am a photojournalist, and it, it does happen. So who have we got here? We got Officer Moriarty. Moriarty. Yeah, that's a weird one to and, say. And got right there. And Higginbotham. Higginbotham. Yes, sir. Botham. All right. All right. I'm curious. Moriarty. Isn't there like a, a famous Doctor Moriarty or something? Yeah, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it, I won't be here for forever. This is, if you're not familiar, this is called Canal City. Is what? This is Canal City. This is Canal City area. Canal City. Yeah. How is that spelled? C A N A L. It's, it's a weird name. It's come from like an Indian word. It's K A N A W H A. So is this not actually Charleston is, city limits? This, this is Charleston city limits, but this area, this suburb, is called Canal City. Oh, I did not know that. Because it's like there's the rivers right down there. It, there's good pictures. Take pictures of that. Um, if you're looking for particular businesses, I mean, you can drive down from Corpus yeah. City, all kind of stuff. I gotta guess. Do you know who owns this house up here on the hill? Uh, that's, that's, What's the story on that? Oh, uh, so it looks like I, a pirate, I was, pirate stuff. Yeah, I was, uh, I was, grew up in a place called Emerald Isle, North uh -huh. Carolina. My dad was in the Marine Corps, uh, Camp Lejeune, and we lived in a place called Pirates Cove, and yeah. it was right next to uh, Blackbeard's house. You're not right next door. Yeah, right next door. Wow. It's near. Uh, What's that place called? Uh, like near between Topsail Island and Emerald Did you Island. know anybody that did any digging for treasure? <laughs> That's what I wanted to go do. And nobody found it yet. If I, I mean, if I, if, if I found it, I wouldn't be working I, here. I can't imagine. <laughs> oh, and I, was, I was telling Officer uh, Moriarty here earlier, you know, no good comes from having conversations with cops. I, I want to amend that. Um, I don't mind having conversations with cops uh, just about stuff that's not personal, you know what I mean? I, mean, I, I, I chit-chat with cops all the time, but, you know, tattoos and Blackbeard's house and what have you. But, <laughs> yeah, when it gets to my business and stuff like that, it's like, eh, I, I, just, I don't want to talk about it, man. So, but, yeah, these little gals, I was really polite to them as well. She uh, she came out front and... and, and I, I even asked her, I said, what is... Could be realistic. What is your worst case scenario? What 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 is your concern here exactly? I mean, because I'm no bank robber, but I would imagine I would imagine if you're a bank robber, you, you don't stand out on the sidewalk <laughs> with multiple cameras drawing all this attention to yourself. Because let's face it, if somebody walked in this place with a mask, anytime in the next freaking six months, they're gonna be like, it was that dude with the cameras, and we got pictures of him, and you know, I mean, you guys would, you guys would figure out who I was real quick if that was the case. But it's not, it's not. Now I'm a law-abiding citizen and have no intention of... Now I'm curious, so I see a steak escape. Is there an escape room in, in this area that you're aware of? Uh, there is one on Capitol Street, isn't it? No, uh, the 
Boulevard. Well, there used to be one at the like 1500 block in Washington. It's called Out of Time. Yeah. Out of Time Escape Room. Out of Time. Is it like a time travel type of thing? No, they do. It, they do different things. I think they got a Christmas one right now. Oh. They used to have a Sherlock Holmes one. They had like a Halloween one. It might be good for that Sherlock Holmes one. Like Shoney's. May I ask, were you a Sherlock Holmes fan growing up? Uh, not really. I, I got like a quarter through the book. Yeah. And I was like, this is... I'm the same way with <laughs> Gone with the Wind. I just can't watch the whole thing. I just, I got a quarter of a way through it. I'm like, God, this is boring. People watch this? Oh, oh yeah. it's That's terrible. It's a long movie, too. It's a long movie. Very it is long It movie. is a long movie. Let's see if I can look up that address. Yeah, they were awfully curious. You know, they're all waving at me, and I'm waving at them. It's just, I, it, I find it amusing because, you know, I'm a photojournalist. This is what I do for a living, take pictures and stuff like that. I just go out on assignments, take pictures of video, whatever I'm supposed to. And uh, I'm an independent photojournalist, but people hire me for stuff all the time. Um, and it's at 1422 Washington Street. 1422, um, It never ceases to amaze me how often somebody will call the police on a friendly man out on the public sidewalk hey. taking pictures. It is Charleston open carry city. So I could, have, I could have a gun strapped to my hip. I don't, but I could have a gun <laughs> gun strapped to my hip and it'd be totally legal yeah, out here. here. Is that right? Yeah, constitutional carry state. You can open carry all over the state. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for you guys? It's a good thing. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, people think twice if they're going to yeah, because you never know who's who's you never know who's armed, and and it's it's concealed carry too, right? So it's not like open carry. I, I know some say it's like you can have open carry, but you can't have concealed carry. You can have a concealed carry or open carry anywhere in Charleston. Well, you, to conceal, you still have to have a concealed license. Oh, got it, got it. To open carry, you don't have well, I'll get out of your hair, sir. Yeah, well, I appreciate you guys coming by and being cordial and, and uh, as they say, on, honoring your oath. You can let these gals know he's he's not going to be yeah, here long. He's he's not hurting anybody, and and this just taking some pictures and video, and your curiosity will drive you crazy. But Wow, stay classy, City National Bank. This has been Mike Norton, KULT News, Charleston, West Virginia. Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. Today, I'll be frank with you, I'm not quite sure where I am. Uh, I'm in Ohio somewhere, just on the other side of the uh, the border of West Virginia. Um, we're at the uh, General James M. Gavin Power Plant. Um, this is a uh, Lightstone Corporation, and we uh, we saw this from quite a ways away, and and wanted to just come over here and check it out. Uh, at first we thought it was like a freaking nuclear power plant or something or another, but this place is pretty massive. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is an absolutely massive building there that uh, creates power for tens of thousands of people, I'm sure. We'll look up the stats on that. Check it out. So, we're just gonna make a little time lapse video as the plan here. I'm gonna park out here and aim it up at the smokestacks and make a little time lapse video. Looks like you got all the employees parked across the way over there. I think I will go across the street. Ohio Power, all right.
Yes, sir. Of what? Wait, wait, hold on. May I come over and talk to you? Yeah. Alright, alright. Um, I can't be taking photos of the power plant. I gotta ask, what what law is that? Is there like a law? You're just like I'm making this up. Be I know, but for what crime? Don't take this the wrong way. I think you're just making this shit up. So I don't think anybody's ever been prosecuted for taking photos or video of a power plant. I think that's that's possibly it's possibly one of the craziest things I've ever heard of, but I've you know, the day is still young. So I'm not gonna stop taking photos of a power plant. I'm in America, not North Korea. What's your next step then, Allied Universal? What do you do? Do you call the police and think they're going to come out here and stop me from taking photos? You are familiar with the First Amendment, right? First Amendment, free press. You know, we're in America, right? Not not North Korea, not Nazi Germany. I'm on a public area over here. Public area, taking photos and video. Uh, and I'm going to continue taking photos and video of this place. This is private property. No, no, that's not private property. In fact... Technically, where I'm standing right now is not private property. If you really want to get technical, private property. Act well, you know. Okay. Now I'm not on private property. This is private property, which you gave me permission to come over and talk to you, so that's why I'm doing it. But generally, I stay off of private property. That's public property, and that's why I'm taking photos and video. So it's just you need better training, is what you need. Yeah, somebody needs to tell you. Yeah, I mean, you guys got to understand. The press can take photos and video in public. And if I'm in public, I can be taking photos and video. Now, obviously, I can't be jumping the fence and going over there. I can't go up here on the property and be taking pictures and video. You know, I guess if I did, they told me to leave, I'd have to. But right out here, oh, that's, man, that's as public as it gets, man. So it's yeah, definitely not a crime. But that being said, if you want to call somebody and have them come out here and tell me otherwise, hey, I'm all ears. But uh, I have no reason to believe this is private property over here. Can't tell you that. Top secret. So I, I, I'm not here to answer questions. I'm here to take some photos and video. That's it. For what reason? Can't tell you that. Uh, do you have any other questions before I get back to work? You doing it for a job? I am. I am. But I can't tell you who I work for. I'll let you get back to doing your thing and I'll do my thing and we'll all, we'll all be doing our things. You have a good day, brother.